Crew 6 mission is drawing a lot of people to our Space Coast who want to see the overnight launch in person. West News Gail Pascal Brown continues our live team coverage at Space View Park in Titusville. So, Gail, how are the crowds? Yeah. Well, Michelle, I really thought there were going to be more people here than this. I'd say 60 to 70 people, but that's okay. There's still time. And you got to remember, we're talking about during the week now. But crews, when it comes down to the rocket launch, they are so incredible. I mean, that you see that glow and then the rocket takes off. That's what these folks here at Space View Park are ready to see. And once you see those rocket launches in person, you will never forget it. On a breezy Florida night, Tonko and Clancy hung out at Space View Park in Titusville while their pet parents wait for another attempt for NASA and SpaceX to launch the Crew-6 mission after the first one was scrubbed. Mike Gwynn is from Loveland, Colorado. I've never seen a up-close rocket go off, so that's it. Yeah. I want to be up, up close to it. Wow, that's got to mean a lot. Yeah, it's cool. It's, we, don't, we don't launch rockets in Colorado, so. <laughs> he says what's surprising is he expected there to be more people here. Yeah, I've been here since about 3 o'clock this afternoon, and uh, I was here for the, the one that got scrubbed the other night, and this place was packed. Ditto for Luann Moore from Wisconsin, who thought Space View Park was going to be packed. She came early to get a good seat. This is the first launch. And I don't know what to expect yet, so. It's going to light up the sky like you will not believe. And the noise, too. And the noise. <laughs> Asa Johnson can tell you what it's like. He's seen 50 launches and photographed them all. It's exhilarating. You can, uh, on the big rockets, you can feel it. You can hear it. Um, and it's just, it's exciting. It's history in the making. Just hoping that it makes it, you know, that, but uh, if it doesn't, it's no big deal because safety first, you know, if they, if they can go, they will. And if they can't, I understand. I'll be back when they reschedule. <laughs> <laughs> now, we're not going to say the third time's a charm. Oh, no. NASA, as well as SpaceX launch managers, say everything is a go. And that's what these good people are hoping for. I'm Gail Pascal Brown, live in Titusville for WESH 2 News.